let's start with the factor. So the factor is going to be the timing of how the delay occurs, basically. So if it's set on one, it's set to a quarter note. So if I got bling, bling, if I'm going one. So if that's my quarter note, that would be exactly where my delay would be. Feedback is exactly how long you want it to delay before it cuts off. I'm just going to start with everything being zero so you can kind of hear the difference of what's what. If I want to listen to a tempo sync, it's set on manually right now. This is cool if you're going for a certain type of tempo that you want your delay to be at, but I can put it on host. And then if I play, it'll set it to whatever it is. Now in this case, in this case I'm already at 120, so it's already in the right place anyway. You got the frequencies, you know, sometimes you may want to roll off in certain areas. But let's just hear, let's solo this keyboard. All right, so right now we hear nothing, right? But when I put the mix in, okay. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. All right. Okay, you can tell that when I add the feedback in, that it's like the delay is never ending, but meanwhile, I'm still playing other notes. Now I've got it at half. Okay. And maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want a 16th notes. And now that's cool if you, if you play with the left and right, you can make more of a stereo effect. So you're going to notice that the smaller I get, the more it's going to sound like chorus um, where you don't really hear the delay as much. Okay, yeah, and that's even cutting it off some. Or I can go the opposite. Okay, now I got this, I'm turning this off. I mean, that was, that's, now that's a hot effect though, if I wanted it that way. So now it's like with the delay, I've almost created two piano parts, right? You got the ling, ling, you know, then even though I played it like that, but listen to that versus the, like the original. So now I got more space, but when I add the delay in, now it's like the, the rhythm of the chords are moving faster. It's like, you know, call and answer between two keyboard parts. Uh, this is one way, one way to add delay. But say, for instance, I didn't want to add delay on the whole keyboard. Maybe I wanted to just add it on a certain section. Well, I can do this. I can duplicate this track and include the events in it. Um, and then say I just wanted to, uh, I don't know delay on this tail end right there I can then I can just turn this one off and just put it there um, but maybe I wanted to add another another effect to this maybe I want the delay to be there but I don't want it to be as present so maybe I would adjust EQ on it uh, let's use a pair EQ for now anyway and let's say let's cut some bass cut And then I don't need this to be as loud. And let's pan it to the left. So let's see. Right, did I turn it? I turned it off. Sorry. Okay, you can barely, barely, barely hear it. I don't know if you all can hear that, but it's panned. 
uh, to the left. And actually, I have my headphones on backwards. Woo, that's not a good thing. So I have it pan to the to the left, uh, but it's ever so slightly. And you could do this with vocals too, as well. Like say, for instance, if you wanted to just delay one section of it, you can either duplicate the track and do it that way. Uh, I remove that. I don't need that. Or you can add it to a certain section, and then I can like highlight this section. And then I can go and then I can do like a region effects. Well, not region effects, but I can do an insert effect or I can do a process effect. Normally I do process effects uh, more, but since this is like MIDI, it's not going to work right now. But if I wanted to add, um, if I wanted to freeze the track and to make an audio track, I can do that as well. Uh, freeze is right here. Freeze Sense is going to temporarily make an audio track out of it. All right, so and then now, if I wanted to, I can duplicate that audio track, bring it down, and then I can have the MIDI archive if I don't need it right now. Uh, but then I can take this part and highlight it. Okay, and say then I can go to process and do audio, and then do delay that way. I've done that a few ways. Uh, I mean, I've, I've done that a lot of times on my songs. I'll like just take one part and then I want to add delay to it. But what's easier is just to duplicate that section, add delay to that section. And so that way it doesn't tamper with your original track. 